Castle Mountain Ski Resort has expanded quite a bit since it opened in 1965. It has Canada's longest continuous fall line and sees an average of 910 centimeters of snow a year. There's six different lifts for any type of rider and you can own a home right on the hill. About 110 houses sit on the hill and general manager Brad Brush says they're hoping to see that number grow. We have uh, uh, more development in the, in the books and uh, areas that have been subdivided for, de for development of single family and multi-family homes and uh, then that uh, hopefully will happen in the next uh, in the next couple of years. Brush says they've been working with the MD of Pincher Creek to create a new area structure plan for the mountain. He says right now Castle has the infrastructure and licensing to take the village to twice its current size. But he says first and foremost they plan on maintaining their close-knit community relationships and value for mountain enthusiasts. And we hope to maintain that here in Castle and keep it as an intimate, intimate style village, uh, uh, not, the, not like the big resorts that we see in, in, in BC, but just a little smaller scale and, and get people that really want to come for the true sport of skiing. The development at Castle Mountain provides avid skiers and snowboarders with a few advantages, including the ability to be able to ski in and ski out. Property owner Kevin Finn says he's owned his home there since 1999. He says he's never seen another place that runs as efficiently as Castle. And Castle Mountain is committed to a, a small but sustainable ski development. Um, you know, I think for us that means a, a community that is viable as well as a business that is viable. He says he's also seen some of the best snow quality for skiers there and Brush says they'll also be working on a master plan to utilize that snow and find opportunities to develop new runs and lifts. Taylor Osseen, CTV News, Castle Mountain.